Hi, this is Charlie at New World Maps, and we're pretty busy these days filling orders for original old road maps. These are the uh, paper foldouts that used to be given away for free at gas stations or picked up by travelers at roadside information booths. One of the questions we get asked often is, how do you know what year this map was printed? Well, in some cases, the answer is pretty clear and upfront because the map has a date right on the cover. There's a map of Nebraska from 1972 and a map of New York, 1939. Clear as can be right there on the map itself. Other times, however, there's no printed date on the map. So I'm gonna tell you a couple of ways you can identify the year in which your map was printed. First, look at the map itself. Did the map maker use Roman numerals to identify the date? That's pretty easy to translate. The M is a thousand, the C is a hundred, so that map of yours that says MCMLV is actually 1955. That's a pretty straightforward one. Shouldn't be any problem for you at all. Then you look at some other maps and there's no date at all, Arabic or Roman, either way. So look for some number clues. Rand McNally and H.M. Goucher were two of the biggest makers of maps in this country for many, many years. They each used a system of numbers, usually set in tiny type down in the lower margin of the map. So if you picked up a Rand McNally map, like this one right here, and you opened it up, and you can tell it's an old map, clearly an old map, and the census figure is from 1940. So that's a little bit of a help, but you want to know the exact year. So that's when you look down in the lower margin and there's a string of numbers in tiny type. The first digit is an eight. So now we've nailed this down. This is a 1948 mobile map of Ohio. H.M. Goucher used a similar but slightly different system. They use some letter keys in their maps and this map I'll open this one up also. This is a shell map of South Dakota. Another old map. Census on this one is from 1930, but there's still no printed year of publication. But if you look down in the lower margin, you'll see a letter and a number. And that tells us that this is a 1937 shell map of South Dakota. Hagstrom is another publisher of old maps and they used their own name as the basis for a code. So the letters in Hagstrom translate to numbers. And this is one of their maps, it shows the uh, Midtown Manhattan hotels and shopping districts, a charming little map with no printed date on the map at all until you look down in the lower margin. A couple of letters there tell us that this map was printed in January, 1940. Geographia was another map company that used a code. They used the word Cumberland, C-U-M-B-E-R-L-A-N-D, one of those nice 10 letter words that uh, each letter was different. So the C equals one and so on. So you can date Geographia maps. And other companies used similar, similar techniques to put the year of their map somewhere down in the margin or in the legend and you can always figure them out somehow. Occasionally there's a map maker who doesn't use anything at all and you're left to your own devices. So you put on your detective hat and you look for clues in the map itself. Population figures can be a help based on what census. Look for roads. Are they shown as proposed or under construction or finished? Does the map show the interstate highways? then it's after 1956. Look for landmarks. Is the Golden Gate Bridge on that map of San Francisco? If it is, then that map was published after 1939. That road map of Virginia that you have doesn't show the town of Reston. Well, that tells you something. It tells you that it's before 1964 because there was no Reston before 1964. International maps offer their own challenges, but 
you still have fun trying to figure out when they were printed. The map of the Middle East that doesn't show Israel very likely dates from before 1947. And that map of Central Africa that shows Zaire was issued sometime between 1971 and 1997, and so on. The, the end result is that you will find the year your map was printed and have a lot of fun in the process. And re really, if you get stuck completely, just drop us a line, send us an email, send us a picture of your map, and we'll be happy to help. We'll also show you on our website a chart with the, the letter and number codes for Rand McNally and H.M. Goucher maps. And that's, since they're the two biggest publishers, that's probably the best single help we can get right off the top. In the meanwhile, enjoy your map. Happy mapping. Bye-bye.